Shalom and welcome to Video Tabernacle. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. It is my pleasure today to introduce to you to something that you might find intriguing. It is this book. Stories told by the prophet William Brand. As a young boy, I loved to hear nice stories. I remember how we used to gather in family every night and would have someone uh, tell us a little story just before we went to bed. And at the end of every story, they would also tell us a lesson that we could learn from the story, some of which I still remember and hold until today. But when I became a Christian, a believer of, the, of this great message of the hour, brought to us by the prophet William Bryan, I came to discover something else, alongside the great ministry that he had. And this was the stories that he told during the many sermons that he was preaching. I was fascinated by the fact that these stories were just so simple, and the way he told them. As simple as they were, but yet revealing deeper mysteries of fundamental truths that transcends religion and generations. Because whether you are young or old, believer or not, these stories do hold special treasures uh, that's so hard to find in most of today's storybooks. So I, I decided to, to go through up the message and collect these blessed stories that I put in this book. It does not contain all the stories that he told, but it only contains a few of them because there are many stories that he told. And as I was writing uh, and collecting these stories, I thought of the young man or the young boy that I was, and only wish if these stories were available to me when I was growing up. Like the story of Mama Eagle. Many of them, like the stories of the mother who had a son who was living abroad and used to send her banks draft, but she only thought there were pictures. Like the stories of the little junior who wanted to see this great God. A story like the one of the young violinist who never cared of the applause of the people but kept looking at his master. And these are the stories that I really wish I had. What an influence uh, it would have been in my life to grow up knowing all these stories that the prophet told. And this reminds me of the story of the blind Bartimaeus. And the prophet says that he had a, he had a mother who told him the stories of the children of Israel, how they marched from Egypt to the Promised Land, and how this God did wonders and performed miracles in their midst. And these stories that was told uh, to blind Bartimaeus by his mother gave him faith that one time he was sitting on one of the rocks which was which fell down from Jericho's wall, he remembered this great God and made him in flesh. So it's true that stories of divine nature do give faith to the ones who hear them. Because the Bible says, Blessed be those that will hear and read this, the words of this prophecy. And we know that a prophet is God's mouthpiece. And to put it in simple terms, this book do, does have stories uh, told by the mouth of God.
What more can you wish for? And as a message believer, we may have heard many of these stories told from the pulpit, from brothers and sisters that we, we fellowship with. But if you pick up one of these, I'm sure you'll be surprised. There will be at least one you've never heard of. And you will have something to read to your children and something your children can read at home and grow up with such an influence because the Bible says, teach a child in the way he should go. I trust you'll be blessed by the stories contained in this book. And I pray that it carries out an influence in the lives of those that will read and the children that will come across this book. And all for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you all uh, for being a support to us and trust that we are bringing something of a blessing to you in this journey that we all in. I thank you very much for listening. And you can order this book either by sending us an email or by paying directly by PayPal on our website. And we'll be glad to send you one of these copies. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, it's your brother Jules. And God bless you, Richard. Bye-bye.